celebrating 28 years, so far, of teaching Photoshop. Here's Dave Cross with another in his series of 28 Photoshop Tips. This is tip number five in my series of Photoshop tips. This one talks about a wonderful thing called Transform Again, which is great when doing any kind of operation using Free Transform and you want to repeat that operation. So for example, in this first case, I have a layer with a single square on. I want to make a series of squares across the top and I want them to be evenly spread out, but I don't really know how much. I'm just going to do it visually. So the first part of it is instead of just pressing Command or Control T, you press Command Option T on the Mac or Control Alt T on PC. And then we're going to start to drag and say I want to copy this far. Now I also held down the Shift key to keep it in a nice constrained line and then I hit Enter. But now you'll notice that it created a new layer and I'll talk about that in a second. So now I want to repeat that same transformation which was make a copy and move it that distance. So to do that, I press Command Option Shift or Control Alt Shift T. And each time I press that, it's going to repeat that same operation. Now it's important to note that this is not saying copy again. It's saying repeat transformation. I'll become clearer in a second when I show you another possibility. So I'm going to step backwards to the point where I just have one because I personally like the idea of a putting each of these onto a separate layer to begin with because that way I have more control. But if you didn't want that, if you want everything on the same layer, you just have to make sure that this content is selected. So I just command or control clicked on that. Now I'll do the same thing, but you'll notice an important difference. And that is when I hit enter, the shapes are on the same layer. Now, the only downside to that is if you're all on the same layer and you suddenly realize the spacing isn't quite right, you'd have to undo everything and start again. That's why I like at least temporarily putting everything on separate layers. Now, let's look at another example. In this case, I have this shape that I've created. I'm going to do the same thing, Command Option T or Control Alt T. I'm going to drag the reference point down to the tip of this, start to rotate uh, let's do 30 degrees, hit enter, and now if I press the keyboard shortcut, you'll see it's rotating around again, because remember it's called transform again, so it repeats whatever transformation you've done. So if you simply scale something smaller, if you hit transform again, it'll scale it smaller again. So this can be used in lots of different ways. Anytime you've done any kind of free transformation, you want to repeat, you just have to remember the keyboard shortcut is basically Command Option Shift T or Control Alt Shift T will do that repeat transformation. So there you go. Very useful tip in Photoshop. Make sure to keep watching for more of my 28 Photoshop tips.